This is Danimal Rob Raw, and this is me telling you to turn off this camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Danimal Rob Raw, and this is me telling you to turn off this video if you're going to use it to live vicariously through what I'm about to say. Now, if you're going to use this for inspiration to go do it, then I would highly recommend you watching this. Um, the Rob Bras have been at this YouTube thing now for probably a little over three years, I guess. And um, we have over 30,000 YouTube subscribers now, which is awesome. Thank you very much for helping me make myself feel important enough that people want to hear what we have to share. Um, and thank you, God, for blessing us with the ability to inspire others to uh, do what they want to do and to at least figure out what they want to do, to find out that uh, maybe their passion is pursuing their passion, finding out what their passion is. All right, but let me uh, hopefully not get too distracted by too many metaphors and paradoxes, although those might be fun realms of consciousness to uh, navigate through. JP, are you there? John McMullen? Are you there, guys? Anywho, Nathaniel made a video the other day about at the beginning of the video. He was saying how he was not sure about making the video, but heck, he was just going to go through with it and do it. He was scared that if he kept waiting for everything to be perfect, for his thoughts to be aligned, for the lighting to be right, for the audio to be right, that he might, it might never get done. And I think that is so true. And I think there's something that's going on um, with the... Uh, World Wide Web being so stimulating, be giving us news feeds of what's going, the highlights of what's going on around the world on a continuous basis that we are now taking in the world's consciousness in like seconds, one after another, after another, after another. I was talking to my friend Paul Reese a while back about how when he was a kid, he used to read a National Geographic magazine and it reminded him of how his daughter goes through a news feed. He would flip through the pages, he would read it, he would read it, but eventually that National Geographic magazine was only covering one subject on one place in the world, or it was very subject specific, and he would eventually get bored of that and then go out and do his own thing. And I think that's what we're coming to right now, because we are just being bombarded by information. I mean, we have so much information, we might be drowning in a sea of Whatever it is, a sea of emails, a sea of Facebook messages, a sea of Instagram news feeds, a sea of, oh, cut me off. <laughs> so we're coming to a state of, uh, uh, not all of us, but some of us, and I've fallen trapped to this as well, and thankfully I have a lot of good teachers to learn from when I see people out to dinner and no one's even communicating, they're just on their news feed like this, that they're a good reflection to me of what I want to change about myself. And hopefully something like that will happen to you through this video. But I'm just here to encourage you guys to stop watching these videos. If you're using them, like I said earlier, to live vicariously through us. To stop using Instagram and to stop using Facebook and to stop using Twitter or Google News or whatever it is that's paralyzing you. That's making you just sit in your seat and just to think your way around experiences. I think after all of all these retreats that we've been doing and all these opportunities, at first we were just going around the world filming ourselves eating fruit and having a great time and that was awesome, but then we realized we could, there's nothing that trumps the experience of connecting with people in a meaningful way and um, that's where the retreats that we are doing really come into play and I'm so blessed that I, we have the ability to attract like-minded and more importantly like-hearted people they really want to get the most out of life and then to come on these retreats and it's just we're creating this context we're helping facilitate this context of where people are making honesty and authenticity and transparency and diving deep into their vulnerabilities um, and instead of running away from their fears to run towards them and to find out that some of their so-called biggest weaknesses are actually some of their biggest strengths it's what they're experts in it's what other we can help and what they can help other people do so yeah, I'm not, you know, my uh, ADHD would be something that maybe a doctor would look at me and be like, this guy can't, this guy can't uh, stick on one train of thought. 
<laughs> Let's get this guy some Adderall. And I have taken that medicine before, and sure, it made me laser in. But it was dulling down who I was. It was making me more of a controlled sheeple for, um, man, am I getting lost or what? Who's with me right now? Let me try to stick to one thing. <laughs> You gotta like this about me. I love this about me. I love that I can go all over the place. That's why sometimes I, uh, it helps to have a conversation with someone else like on a video. I was thinking about doing a video with Jake Ducey who I'm about to meet up with because I felt like I could probably keep a better train of thought. And um, quick intermission, who else is gonna be at the Rob Ross Warrior Weekend with Nako Bear? But I decided, hey, I'm gonna take my own advice and stop waiting for all the right moments to get something done and just, I'm gonna do it right now and this is me just doing it. And um, what I'm truly coming down to, I think this is what I wanna stick on about, what I want, the subject I wanna stick on for this video is that the Rob Rogers are now really honing in on these in-person experiences. We just got back from, we had a retreat in a private island in Panama. Before that, we were in Encinitas, California. Before that, we were in Nicaragua. Kauai, the list goes on, and we have following retreats in uh, Maui, May 27th through the 31st, Steamboat Springs, Colorado, July 3rd through the 7th, and Traverse City, Michigan, August 10th through the 14th, and we even have a meetup coming up, we're going to call the Warrior Weekend, where we're going to see Nako Bear and Medicine for the People live here in San Diego, and we're going to go explore some things. We're going to ex tap into our warrior side, into that fierce type of fearless love. And what I mean by fearless is not that fears don't exist, but we're going to face our fears together. And this weakens me for the people that really consider themselves warrior. We're going to face the spirit of fear is not a spirit of God, I don't believe. And I believe when we face that fear that we can find God. And I'm all about that. I'm all about tapping into the vine and letting God's light shine through me. And what I'm encouraging you guys to do is to stop watching our videos third time I'm saying this, to live vicariously through us. I know YouTube and the internet kind of breeds that type of behavior, but I want you to realize what it is, you, what are you watching us for? What are we reflecting other than an awesome train ride? What are we reflecting in you that is attracting us? Why, why, why are we attracting you? And I think what we are is we are very good mirrors and some people love what they see in their self some people love what they see in the mirror and some people love to not love what they see in the mirror and I think that intrigues people around the world to continue watching our videos but what I want you to do is to take the opportunities that we're giving to and if it's not our if it's not our trip or if it's not something that we're offering to go do something go do what it is that you want to do paint that perfect picture like I used to think that I wanted to uh, have a beachfront house in front of one of my surf spots. And I think one day I still want that, but in reality, I don't want that. I don't want to do what it takes right now to have a $10,000, $20,000 mortgage. I don't. So I don't want to be telling these delusional stories about how I can't afford it. Or I can't, I, don't even, I can't even say that I can't anymore. I'm done with that. And if you find yourself falling into that trap of telling you these delusional stories of these delusional bridges that you have to, that are uncrossable for you to get to where you want to go, maybe in reality the bridge is there. You just don't want to do what it takes to cross the bridge. Timothy, uh, I think Timothy came up with this quote actually, and I think it's profound. That people don't put a puzzle together to see what it looks like. Oh, oh. <laughs> and that is so awesome that I don't want to just be people you know you hear about people winning the lottery and going into like a deep world like tailspin of depression and just they lost their vigor and zest for life because you want to do what you're doing realize that so stop telling your stories I'm right now I just made a Facebook status that I'm in the best place in the world for me right now and you know why I know that because I'm here I chose to be here. Let's, uh, you know, general hope is a great thing, I think. But hope, hopefully, like specifically hoping for something, mm -mm. go do it. Make it happen. Realize that you are creating the environment that you are in right now. And there's lots of 
languaging that goes along with a victim mentality rather than a creator mentality. And I talked about this in previous videos, but if you're the type of person that goes around telling yourself or telling others that this person makes me feel like that, she makes me so mad, and he makes me so happy, and that, and I, uh, hopefully I'll do that, and let me think about it, let me think about it. What you're saying is, let me think my way around this. How about you do it and feel your way through the experience? How about you do what you want Whatever it might be, a lot, a lot of people are coming to us and I see they're uh, crippled by the fear of finances. I mean, I don't even know why people are coming, asking us to come on a retreat and then we tell them it costs money and then they're like, oh, do, are, do people actually think that we're doing retreats for free or is it they just want to get the experience, they want to watch a retreat video, they want to call us up and they want to ask us about the retreat so they can get a dulled down experience of what it's like to travel. I'll tell you the one thing that people like doing more in the world than traveling is talking about traveling. Talking about traveling is so safe, it's so easy, it's so fun. But heck, we've been on trips before where people seem like they weren't really even having that good of a time. They come back home, they post pictures all over Facebook about, oh, this epic trip, best trip of my life, blah, blah, blah. And I'm realizing, wow, these people are so lost in the past and the future that I don't even think they know what's going on in the present. And that's why we do the whole expect nothing experience, everything itinerary. So don't call us up and ask us what we're doing on the retreat, who's going to be there, how many people are going to be there, because we are that's what makes our retreats more unique than anything else in the world. That you're coming on a trip and you don't know what's going to happen. We pick you up from the airport and boom, we put presence on the pedestal. Presence beyond happiness, beyond joy, beyond excitement. We want you to be lost in the moment. We want you to embrace the power of the now. We want to help you bridge the gap of what you think you want and what you actually want and, and what you want and to do it and to create what it takes to do it. I make myself happy around Diana. I make myself excited around my brothers. I make myself inspired around my brothers. I, I make myself uh, nervous when I'm on camera. You know, these are, all, these are all privileges of living. I make myself depressed or I make myself angry or I make myself sad when I'm fighting with people that I love. Or is it I just make myself excited? I do a little of both and that's me being alive and thank goodness I can feel what it feels like to be sad. Thank goodness I can feel pain. Thank goodness I can feel the sun kissing my skin and the cold water out in the ocean exhilarating me. You know, I don't think, pe I think people are a lot less responsible for making you feel the way you do than most people think. Now if they physically do something to you, they push you, if they punch you, yeah, they're doing something. But all these emotions that people um, surrender to other people, like they're just like a ping pong just being pushed around by everyone that hits them, that is, that is a, a, I would say, a lower level of consciousness to be in. And it's good that you're there, and it's because it's good, it'll be that much better when you get out of it. It'll be that much better when you start taking responsibility for your reality, and a lot of that can change just by your wording. Stop using the words shoulda, coulda, woulda, should, would, could. Next time you say, I could have done that, Oh, I could have done that. Hey, try this. Be like, I can do this. Go back and do it. What was it that you could have done? Could you have asked that girl on a date? I could have asked that girl on a date. No. Right there in that moment, stop yourself in your tracks, change it to I can do it, and go out and go ask her out. How easy is that? And uh, yeah, come on a Rob Rouse retreat. What is it that's stopping you? Why Don't watch these videos if you're just using them to think your way around things. Don't think about it do it, whatever it is. We just got to experience it by doing these retreats and we love it when people come there and they just surrender and there's a huge shift that takes place in people's lives and just this context of just, oh man, when you put, when you, when you have that context of like diving deep into your vulnerabilities to find out how amazing you actually are and to not be loved by the performance you're putting on but to be loved for who you are in that moment and just having that context of honesty and just gratitude for what's been given to you in that moment, then everything else seems to fall into place. So yeah, we can help you. Maybe we can reflect the inspiration that's in you to help you take that step forward. But don't look at us like we're doing something that's impossible. Don't look at us like, oh, those crazy guys are just having so much fun. I wonder, they, they, they are trust fund babies. Yeah, I'm in debt. Man, I don't let I don't let that stop me. Like I'm currently in debt, but my net worth is billions. That I'm getting to experience what it's like to get myself out of debt and to 
that was a big that was a big uh, hurdle for me. That was a big stumbling block for me that I'm now turning into a stepping stone that once I realized that I stopped telling my story, this story of how finances are a limiting thing for me, that they stopped becoming a limiting thing for me. That sometimes you have to uh, invest in yourself. If someone, if you're not going to invest in yourself, who will invest in you? Sometimes you have to pay money to make money. I'm not, I'm no longer convinced that money makes you happy, but happiness makes you money. And when you know when you have a money problem is when you can't give it away. These are all things that I was lucky enough to be, I'm kind of creating this environment of people around me that want to be around me that are awesome. They are sharing these thoughts and feelings with me and, they're, and I'm inspiring myself from them and I'm motivating myself. And I hope that you can do the same. If this video was helpful or if you have any questions, comment below. Maybe someone else will answer for them. If you want us to answer them for you in person, come on a retreat. Come on the Warrior Weekend. It's May 16th with Nako Bear at the concert. And you know, Nako Bear and Dustin Thomas and the Medicine for the People. We've used a lot of their music in our videos, especially even the Ido Portal one. Those guys are great. I think we're on a very parallel path getting to the, a similar spot, but we're using different means. We're using videos and retreats and they're using music and concerts and that's awesome. And I can't wait for our courses to collide and then create this synergistic thing to where we become even more powerful when we leave. And I hope you join us. If you want to join us, email us at robbras at gmail.com. That's going to be a wacky one and there will be special guests. Don't worry about who it will be. Just come. Don't worry about asking questions. Just email us and we'll give you the details of how we're going to make this happen. Of how you're going to create the situation for you to have an amazing time regardless of us, regardless of what's going on in your life. I hope the camera's on and I hope you were able to follow me and if you weren't, then I hope you tell me and I hope I, hope I have some people that don't like this video because then I'll have an opportunity and I hope I'll have an opportunity to look what they're reflecting in me that I want to change about myself. That's a, that was a big point, that was a big thing for me. Like The, the opposite of hate is not the opposite of love, sorry, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. So when someone's giving me some negative feedback, I look at it as, um, what do you call it when you build someone up? Whatever that phrase is, that I really look at that like whenever something, I trigger something in something, someone else and they don't like it, there's something they're reflecting in me that I can learn about myself. So thank you for all you lovers and thank you for all you haters and thank you for the people that actually care about what I'm saying. And thank you for the people that didn't even get this far in the video or, or are in this far in the video and they're about to do something great with their lives. And the people I'm really targeting are the people that are just watching this video to get a dulled down sense of fulfillment because they don't want to do it themselves. Now you, you need, should have you should have turned this camera off or this video off about 10 minutes ago and you should be making what happened what you want to happen. The power is in your hands. Peace.